Have you ever dreamed of a place that's so beautiful it takes your breath away? Somewhere you can just relax, soak up the sun, and explore the hidden treasures that it has to offer? If so, then Lake Como is the perfect place for you. Located in northern Italy, this glacial lake is known for its stunning scenery, lush mountains, and crystal clear waters. A popular destination among celebrities and royalty. It's also home to some of the most luxurious villas in the world. Join us as we explore the top 10 best things to do in Lake Como. Number 10. There's no better place to start than with a visit to the lake's namesake, the historic city of Como. At its heart is the magnificent Como Cathedral, also known as the Duomo. Built in the 14th and 15th centuries, this Gothic church is known for its Renaissance and Baroque architecture, as well as its distinctive facade. Featuring a rose window and statues of Pliny the Elder and Pliny the Younger, two ancient Roman figures who were born in Como. Next, take a walk through the old town where you'll find shops, restaurants, and markets, as well as the Porta Torre, an infamous tower built in the 12th century that's known for its arched gateways. From there, you can head west to explore the Spina Verde Park, a protected forest spanning nearly four square miles, or head east and take a funicular ride to the town of Brunat, which offers stunning views of the lake, mountains, and surrounding countryside along the way. Number nine, Como's charming lakeside towns and villages. Known for their narrow streets, colorful houses, and stunning views, the town of Bellagio, often referred to as the Pearl of the Lake, is a must visit. It's located at the tip of a promontory overlooking the lake, offering a panoramic view of the surrounding mountains and villages. It's also home to many beautiful villas and gardens, making it a popular destination for tourists. Menaggio is another town you should visit, with its well-preserved historic center and beautiful promenade. Located on the western shore of the lake, it serves as a popular starting point for boat trips and hiking excursions. There's also Verena, a romantic village that will steal your heart with its colorful houses and flower-filled streets. It's located on the eastern shore of the lake and offers a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery. These are just a few of the many charming lakeside towns and villages that you can explore at Lake Como. So take your time, wander around, and discover your own favorite. Number eight, Isola Comachina. Lake Como's only island, situated off of Villa del Balbiano in Tremezzina. It makes for a perfect outdoor activity. Book a tour or rent a small boat and venture over to this small island that's rich with Roman history. Once here, follow the hiking trails to explore its ancient ruins, including marble Roman columns, the frescoes inside the baptistry of St. John's Church, as well as the arched stone remnants of the Basilica di Santo Fania, which date back to the seventh century. Another site to see in Isola Coma, China, is a group of three houses that were built for artists back in 1939 and designed by Pietro Lingeri for the Milanese Brera Academy of Art. Besides its historic landmarks, this island also offers a unique escape from the hustle and bustle of the city due to its quiet tranquility and scenic views. Number seven, the Basilica of Santa Bondio. Located outside the city's walls, this brick and stone church is known for its two distinctive bell towers and its fascinating interior artwork. Dedicated to the patron saint of Como, its interior is decorated with an intricate cycle of frescoes dating back to the mid-14th century, considered to be a must-see for any visitor to the city. Every painted scene appears to integrate seamlessly into the church's architecture, from its pillars to its vaulted ceilings, with a display of vibrant colors that make it a true sight to behold. A popular tourist destination, the Basilica of Santa Bondio is a fascinating example of Romanesque architecture and art. Here, 
Stepping inside can feel like stepping back in time. Number six, if you're feeling adventurous, try hiking along the Sentiero del Viandante. This ancient path stretches along the eastern shore of Lake Como, offering a chance to immerse yourself in nature. At roughly 28 miles long, starting in Abadia Lariana and ending in Verena, it can be hiked in sections or as a whole. It's extremely well-maintained and easy to follow, making it a great option for hikers of all levels. Along the way, you'll pass through lush forests, terraced vineyards, and charming villages. You'll also have the opportunity to enjoy stunning views of the lake and surrounding mountains. But a few tips. Start your hike early in the morning to avoid the heat of the day, bring plenty of water, and be on the lookout for the surrounding wildlife, where you might catch the sight of marmots, mountain goats, and golden eagles. Number five, the Tempio Voltiano, a museum dedicated to renowned physicist Alessandro Volta. Born in Como in 1745 and best known for his invention of the battery, Volta is considered to be one of the most important scientific minds of the 18th century. This neoclassical building built in his honor was completed in 1927 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of his death. It's home to a library, research center, as well as a collection of exhibits that showcase Volta's life, inventions, and scientific contributions. Included in these exhibits are his original laboratory equipment, models of his inventions, and documents related to his work. The Tempio Voltiano is a fascinating journey through history, and it serves to highlight the innovative spirit of Como. Number four, sunbathe at the beach. Sometimes there's no better way to spend your day than simply relaxing outside in the sun, and the beaches of Lake Como can offer a great place to do just that. Lido Villa Olmo and Spiaggia di Villa Geno are two of the popular public beaches to choose from, both located close to the city. Find your lounge chair along these pebbled enclaves and be rejuvenated by the tranquility of your surroundings as you bask in views of vibrantly colored buildings, lush mountains, and the calming waters of the lake. For a more exclusive and secluded beach experience, be sure to explore the many options that Bellagio, Lierna, and Leno also have to offer. Number three. No trip to Lake Como is complete without finding time to partake in its exceptional performance arts. Attend a concert, a symphony, or an opera for a taste of elegance and refinement that only the Como region can offer. And what better place to see one than in a castle? Located a short drive away in Mozzate, the Castello del Seprio serves as a beautiful concert hall that hosts a variety of symphony performances and art exhibitions. Be sure to also explore their collection of rare musical instruments. But if you want to stay closer to town, look no further than the Teatro Sociale, one of the city's premier cultural attractions. Also one of the oldest theaters in the region, its elegant design and frescoed ceiling make for the perfect backdrop for any dance or musical performance. Be sure to dress to impress as you indulge in some of Como's finest entertainment. Number two, Lake Como's famous villas. With their stunning architecture and beautiful gardens, these signature villas are a true sight to behold. Tremezzo, a paradise on the lake, boasts the famous Villa Carlotta. Built in the 1700s on a hilltop and known for its breathtaking gardens, this villa offers spectacular views and is also home to an amazing collection of sculptures and paintings. Then there's Villa Melsi in Bellagio. This villa, built in the 1800s, is surrounded by stunning gardens with a variety of flowers, trees, and sculptures. It also offers panoramic views of the lake and surrounding mountains, making it known for some of the best scenery in all of Como. Or, how about visiting Villa Balbianello? This villa is not only a favorite filming location for movies, 
but it also offers breathtaking views of the lake and surrounding mountains. Built in the 1700s, this architectural gem is surrounded by lush gardens and is also known as one of the most picturesque villas in the city. These are just a few of the many villas that you can visit on Lake Como, but it's easy to enjoy an afternoon of exploring these beautiful and historic properties. And at number one, if you want to truly experience the beauty of Lake Como, there's nothing better than taking a boat out for a leisurely sail across its crystal clear waters. Feel the gentle breeze on your face as you admire the stunning villas, vibrant landscapes, and lush mountains along your way. There are many different options for cruising the lake, so you're free to choose the one that best works for you. If you're looking for a budget-friendly option, the public ferries are a great way to take in the sights. They're also very useful for getting around to the city's many different towns and villages. And if you're looking for something more luxurious, head to a yacht club and rent one of Lake Como's signature wooden Riva boats, or book a private yacht cruise. These options will offer an elevated experience and will also allow you to set your own itinerary. No matter which option you choose, you're sure to have an unforgettable experience on beautiful Lake Como. That's all for our top 10 best things to do in Lake Como. We hope you enjoyed the video and found some inspiration for your next trip. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, Glamorous Getaways, for more travel inspiration. Thanks for watching.